Welcome to Brainytainment, where we delve into the fascinating world of brain health and everything related to it. Today, we're going to unravel the mystery surrounding the 10 worst foods for your brain. It's no secret that what we consume has a profound impact on our overall health, and our brain is no exception. From the seemingly harmless to the outright damaging, we'll explore the foods that are not so friendly to our grey matter. Stay with us as we navigate the not-so-brain-friendly foods you may want to avoid. Starting with number one on our list, sugary drinks. These seemingly harmless beverages are often loaded with more sugar than we realize. Not only does this lead to weight gain and other health issues, but it can also have a significant impact on our brains. When we consume excessive amounts of sugar, our bodies have to work overtime to process it. This can lead to inflammation and oxidative stress, both of which can damage brain cells. Over time, this can lead to memory problems and even reduce the volume of the brain, particularly in areas associated with learning and memory formation. Moreover, a diet high in sugar can disrupt our body's insulin regulation, which can also have negative effects on our brain health. It's a domino effect that starts with that innocent can of soda. So next time you reach for that soda, maybe think twice. Your brain will thank you for it. Moving on to number two, refined carbs. Now, when we think of refined carbs, images of white bread and pasta may immediately spring to mind. What's the issue with these, you ask? Well, these foods have a high glycemic index, which means they're rapidly absorbed into the bloodstream, causing sharp spikes in blood sugar levels. When consumed in excess, these spikes can lead to brain fog, mood swings, and other cognitive impairments. But that's not all. Over time, this roller coaster of sugar highs and lows can inflict lasting damage on your brain. Studies suggest that a diet high in refined carbs increases the risk of dementia and cognitive decline. So, what's the takeaway here? Simply put, the brain thrives on steady, controlled blood sugar levels. Foods low in refined carbs and high in fiber, like whole grains, help maintain this balance. So next time you're reaching for that white bread or pasta, remember, opting for whole grains could be a smarter choice. At number three, we have foods high in trans fats. Now you may be asking, what's the big deal with trans fats? Well, let's dive into that. Decades of research have shown that a diet rich in trans fats can lead to a myriad of cognitive problems. These industrially produced fats have been linked to poorer memory. It's like pouring sand into the gears of your mental clockwork. But that's not all. Studies have also shown a connection between high trans fat intake and lower brain volume. It's as if these fats are literally shrinking your brain. And if that wasn't enough to get your attention, there's more. Consuming excessive amounts of trans fats has been associated with cognitive decline, impairing your ability to think, learn and remember. So, next time you reach for that donut or packet of chips, think twice. Remember, not all fats are created equal. Number four on our list, highly processed foods. Now, when we say processed foods, what exactly do we mean? We're talking about those quick, convenient bites like chips, cookies and ready meals. These products are often loaded with high levels of sugar, fats and salt, which are not exactly friends of your brain. Why is that? Well, the high sugar content can cause blood glucose levels to fluctuate, leading to mood swings, fatigue and other health issues that can impact your brain's function. The unhealthy fats often found in these foods can also contribute to brain fog and cognitive decline. And let's not forget about the excessive salt. High sodium intake has been linked to increased risk of cognitive decline. Now, we're not saying you need to completely cut out your favorite crisps or cookies, but moderation is key. Keep these foods as an occasional treat, not a dietary staple. So try to keep processed foods to a minimum. Next up at number five, aspartame. This artificial sweetener, often found hiding in sugar-free products, may seem like a good alternative to sugar, but let's delve a bit deeper. Aspartame is infamous for its potential to cause a variety of brain disorders. Yes, you heard right, brain disorders. One of these is depression, a serious condition affecting millions worldwide. Studies have shown a connection between aspartame and an increased risk of mood disorders. Even more alarming is the link to seizures. While it doesn't mean consuming aspartame will automatically lead to these conditions, the potential risk is certainly worth considering. Aspartame's impact on the brain is due to an amino acid called phenylalanine, which can disrupt the production of neurotransmitters, the brain's communication chemicals. This disruption can lead to an imbalance, causing a range of neurological problems. So, the next time you reach for that sugar-free product, think twice. 
Sometimes it's better to stick with natural sweetness. At number six, we have alcohol. Now, this might be a tough one to swallow, no pun intended, but it's important to understand that excessive alcohol consumption can have harmful effects on our brain. When we talk about excessive, we're referring to regular heavy drinking over extended periods of time. Such habits can lead to neurodegeneration, a fancy term that basically means the death of brain cells. This is a natural process that happens as we age, but excessive alcohol can speed it up. Not only that, but alcohol can also lead to a decrease in brain volume. Imagine your brain shrinking like a sponge left out to dry. It's not a pretty picture, is it? But it's not all doom and gloom. The good news is if you enjoy a glass of wine or a pint of beer, you don't have to give it up completely. It's all about moderation. So remember, moderation is key when it comes to alcohol. Number seven on our list, fish high in mercury. Mercury, as some of you may know, is a potent neurotoxin. This means it is capable of causing serious harm to your brain. This is especially worrisome when it comes to children whose brains are still in the process of developing. Now, you might be wondering, how does mercury end up in fish? Well, mercury is released into the environment through industrial processes and finds its way into our oceans and waterways. Once there, it's converted into methylmercury, a form that can be absorbed by fish. Larger species like shark and swordfish tend to have higher levels of mercury because they're at the top of the food chain. Ingesting high amounts of mercury over time can lead to cognitive deficits, impacting memory, attention, language, and fine motor skills. So while fish is often praised for its brain-boosting omega-3 fatty acids, it's crucial to choose your seafood wisely. Next at number eight, fried foods. A tempting delight for many, but did you know these crispy indulgences might not be the best for your brain health? Let's delve into the science behind this. Fried foods are typically high in trans fats, notorious for their inflammatory properties. When consumed in excess, these fats can trigger an inflammatory response in your body, but how does this affect our gray matter, you might wonder? Well, chronic inflammation is suspected to be one of the major contributing factors to brain-related conditions such as Alzheimer's and depression. Furthermore, the high fat content of fried foods might disrupt the balance of fats in your brain. This imbalance can impair the critical brain processes, such as communication between brain cells. In essence, while the occasional fried treat might not cause significant harm, a balanced diet is key. So, the next time your cravings kick in, consider opting for healthier alternatives. Opt for baked or grilled options when possible. Uh, at number nine, we have low fiber, high sugar foods. These deceptively delicious items can do a real number on your brain health if consumed excessively. Let's delve into why. You see, when you consume foods that are low in fiber but high in sugar, your body experiences rapid spikes in blood sugar levels. This isn't just a problem for your waistline, it's an issue for your brain too. This sugar rush triggers a flood of insulin in your system, leading to inflammation. Inflammation, in turn, is a key driver of oxidative stress, a process that damages your cells, including those in your brain. Now imagine this happening repeatedly, day in, day out, it's like a constant boxing match inside your body, where your brain health is taking the punches. Over time, this can lead to a decline in cognitive function, memory problems, and a higher risk of neurodegenerative diseases. So, the next time you're reaching for that sugary snack, remember what's at stake. Choose high-fiber foods for a healthier brain. And finally, at number 10, nicotine. This notorious stimulant, often associated with smoking, can actually shrink your brain over time. Yes, you heard right, shrink your brain. It's also linked to a decrease in cognitive abilities, including memory loss. Not exactly the brain food you were hoping for, is it? Remember, your brain is an amazing organ. Feed it well for optimal performance. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to Brainytainment for more brain-boosting content.